everyone. Hey, everybody in high school. How are you guys doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. Two thumbs up, right? Doing good? Um, I'm going to get started doing a little reading. It'll be pretty short and sweet, um, but if we're having a little bit of a hard time finding a reason to do all these worksheets I keep sending, I think this one will be really helpful. So we all got to do our work every once in a while, right? We get good things when we do our work and we gain knowledge. We get to practice all those skills because eventually we are going to come back to school and we got to keep learning, okay? So I'm going to do a little bit of reading. It's about a little boy and how he does his homework, okay? So he might do it a little bit differently. I know you guys don't necessarily have a planner like he's going to have, but there's definitely a lot of things we can relate to. I know we all got backpacks. We all need to sharpen our pencils right, and we got to sit down in a nice quiet spot and do our work. So I'm going to get started, and I'm going to share my screen so we can get to reading. How I do my homework. Hmm, let's see how this little boy does his homework. Checking for homework. School is over. Do I have homework? I look in my backpack. Where is his backpack? His backpack is on the kitchen table right here, or it's on his back in this picture. So you guys, right now, we're getting our homework sent through the mail. So every couple of weeks, you guys receive homework through the mail. Then I read my planner. I have two assignments to do. That sounds doable, right? Two assignments, maybe two worksheets. What are some things we can work on on those worksheets? Hmm, we can do math. We get some reading done. We can practice tracing letters and numbers. And we can maybe try to do a little bit of art if we have an art project in there. There's a lot of options. So if you guys don't have a planner like this at home, maybe you guys have a schedule with pictures so you can see what comes next. Maybe your parents just let you know, hey, it's work time. We're going to do two or three worksheets. Those are definitely also good ways to know what's coming next. You could always ask too. You can say, what work do I have to do? And if you're not ready to keep going, or if you need a break, remember we can always ask for a break or we can say, I'm finished. Just like that, I'm finished. And that's definitely a good choice. We can use our words to let people know. Getting ready to work. First, I find a quiet place. Next, I get everything I need to work. Hmm, so where is your quiet place at your house? Or I guess, where is the place that you do your work? Maybe it's a desk. Maybe it's somewhere in your room. Could be the kitchen table. I know that's where I used to do all my homework when I was younger. Maybe in the living room if there's a table in there. As long as you feel comfortable and there's, there's enough quietness that you can focus on that work. Very important. I sharpen my pencil and then I get out, set out my worksheet, my math worksheet. Interesting. Do you use a pencil when you do your schoolwork or do you use something else? Maybe you use a marker or a crayon. Can you point to where he's sharpening his pencil? There he is sharpening his pencil right there. Finally, I set out my spelling list. First, I do my math problems. What would you prefer to start with? Would you prefer to start with reading 
or math. I prefer to get math out of the way. That's just me. And then we can do reading after that. But whatever you like, you're welcome to start with whatever works for you. As long as we're doing some schoolwork and we're following the instructions our parents gave us, that's a good choice, right? Then I practice writing my spelling words. I check my work. So after we write it all out, after we're finished, you can look back over it to see if everything looks right. Or you could ask your parents to check over it for you if you like. I cross out the assignments I did. Finally, I put my things back in my backpack. I will turn in my work tomorrow. Wow! And I bet this little boy is just so proud of himself, right? He can give himself a big pat on the back because he did his schoolwork and he's got the rest of the day to do what he likes, probably the evening. So remember, we do our homework and then we can get nice things and we can have a nice rest of the day because it's over with. We do a little bit of work, we learn a little bit, and then we're free to do things as long as it's okay with our parents. Just got to ask if it's all right. So that's how I did my homework. How would you do it? Remember, there are videos just like this one that you guys can watch as well as doing that, those worksheets. So all of that counts. You guys are listening with your ears. You're paying attention with your eyes and participating by pointing to and answering my questions. So that definitely counts as schoolwork too. And I'm so proud of you guys for doing such good work during this time away from school. It's so awesome to hear that everybody's doing their schoolwork, everybody's getting their worksheets done. You guys deserve a big pat on the back, just like that. Can you do that? Give yourself a pat on the back. Go my friends, wonderful job. I miss y'all so much, and I can't wait to see you guys again. I hope you guys have a great night. See you later. Miss Liza signing off. <laughs>